Keep your eyes peeled for colorful new wildlife around Porter County. Eight life-size bison will dot the county's landscape as part of Indiana's bicentennial celebration. The bison is a result of public partnerships, including input from citizens regarding historical icons, sponsorship by Prompt Ambulance Service, and designs by local artists. The painting on this bison is the work of the clients of Opportunity Enterprises. Their talents bring to life a colorful expression of the county's history, a responsibility they take great pride in. With the Bicentennial coming up for the state of Indiana, we were reached out to by our Indiana Association for United Ways to represent a bison locally. We felt it was natural to reach out to, uh, to some of our local agency partners. So we reached out and thought Opportunity Enterprises would be a great fit because their clients already do a lot of artwork. We service developmentally disabled adults. Other than what they do on a daily basis where they do the jobs, in our workshop, this gives them a chance to be exposed to other avenues. People feel intimidated because they can't do uh, photographic representations of something. And so art teachers try to dispel that feeling. Um, we try and, and show people what kind of experiences can help them with the works that they're creating. And we're not looking for an exact representation, we're looking for their expression. A lot of our people have never really tried to do something like a painting or, you know, even drawing something on their own. I think it can be very intimidating. We have some people who are very talented and others who are at a lower level of functioning and they could be sitting in the same group. Our higher level clients tend to encourage the people to try. I, th I think it's really good to have them in the group together to help each other work things out. You learn from, from the other people and you learn to see things from a different perspective and I think that that's always really important. We've been explaining that this will be in several different locations. People will be able to see it throughout the year and that's really fun and exciting to them that they're part of that. That helps to build confidence. It also shows the viewing public that you know these things are possible and you don't have to be a declared artist to create artwork. Anybody can create artwork. We try as much as we can to make people do what they are capable of doing on their own and not having everything done for them. And so they, they learn that if they try, they can learn something new and they have the ability to do more than they thought they did and more than a lot of people think. They love seeing their art displayed and I know that the clients, uh, when they see their art here and it's going to be displayed downtown, and going to just make them feel terrific. I'll speak for myself. I'm, I'm an artist. It's intimidating for me to present what I've done to someone. And so I think it's exceptionally intimidating at times for our clients because I think that they probably have a little more fear of judgment than most of us do. And so to have an encouraging and open environment is the best um, possible thing we could have because I think they face that enough in their normal lives. Here it feels more safe and so they're able to be more creative. There's a lot of excitement when they do something and it succeeds and just a lot of pride. I think in some cases it's more than what they thought they were even capable of. The bison featured in this segment will be traveling throughout the county. Visit porterbison.com for locations and events associated with all eight of the Porter County Bison. Visit Opportunity Enterprises online for more information on how to get involved and support their mission.